Well, Ann Arbor is a place for a lot of outdoor recreation, but on the city's north side, there's seven acres of land that has been just sitting there for decades. Soon it's going to be a park. But as our Kim DeGiulio shows us, the way the project is being paid for is a real first in the city. If you've ever been to the Gandy Dancer in Ann Arbor, you know exactly where I'm standing right now behind the restaurant along the Huron River. But for as long as anybody can remember, this space has gone completely unused until now. It's a beautiful area to look at, but that's really all you can do here at Broadway Park West, a seven acre piece of property along the Huron River. And those of us from Ann Arbor have seen this site for all these years, a hundred years uh, that this has been sitting here as an industrial site. DTE Energy has been conducting extensive remediation on the site so that it could ultimately be repurposed as a public place to be enjoyed by the people of Ann Arbor. DTE formulated the idea to reclaim this old industrial site. It was something that had been dormant for so many years, so we approached the city and approached other community partners and, uh, and then engaged the developer to come up with a beautiful design. Now that site has been turned over to the Lower Town Riverfront Conservancy, who will work to clean this area up to residential standards. This is the first time Ann Arbor will have a privately owned and managed public space that's conservancy led and will be self-sustaining. There will be three points of access to the river for uh, watercraft or fishing or just enjoying the restored riverfront. The park will also include trails, an indoor pavilion with seating for 300 people and an ice rink. A combination of the natural features and the active recreation will, will be unlike anything that has been seen in the community. Broadway Park West will be open 365 days a year, and on days like today, that indoor pavilion will certainly come in handy. The park is set to open for its initial phase sometime in early 2024. Reporting in Ann Arbor, I'm Kim DiGiulio, Local 4.